I am, I am with a herd of elephants. There they are, wandering across the grassland and eating a plant that Judy H. very kindly told me about yesterday. I thought it was a caparis, and she agreed with me. She thought it was a caparis separia, as opposed to a caparis tormentosa, which is found in the Sabi sands. So that's the story there. That is a caper bush of sorts, very thorny for us, not so much if you happen to have a skin three inches thick. Now this rather, um, dare I say it, less than attractive cow is heading towards us, looking a little bit annoyed. And she's very old. And I say unattractive because she's got sort of bumpy bits all over her. I'm not going to say it loudly again. Um, I must just tell you, before you came to us, Craig imitated me. He said, uh, <laughs> he said, hello everybody, which has of course become my default greeting every time I do a link uh, or every time I'm linked over to. And so I thought that was very funny and I stopped myself. And I'm also going to punch Craig in the throat as soon as we go off air. Now, interestingly, this elephant cow has got a piece of her tusk missing. And I've seen lots of elephants with broken tusks here. They seem to be slightly thinner than the ones in the Kruger. And Roshan, you were saying she's not symmetrical like the typical Mara elephants. You mean, of course, in terms of her tusks. Yeah, I'd agree. I've seen lots of broken tusked elephants here. And that would have hurt horribly when it happened. And in fact, Craig, who uh, very richly deserved the tooth chipping he got the other day, I've, I mean, it's, it was, it was an, an early punishment for his, his current indiscretions. I could tell you all about painful teeth, couldn't you, Craig? We hit a bump and uh, a piece of his, his recently capped root canal uh, disappeared down his throat. I felt sorry for him then. I don't anymore. Well, Rick, who can blame her? You say she looks interested in me. <laughs> I don't think it's me, Rick. I think it's Craig. They have solidarity in the teeth. Um, she is interested. Rick, in, in all seriousness, we know that these animals definitely, I think especially elephants, enjoy a little bit of an interaction with us from time to time. And often, when they could walk around us or come towards us, you know, I mean, there's nothing stopping her just going away. And she's chosen to approach us. And what she's doing here, I think, is searching for little Balanites fruits on the floor with her trunk. It's amazing that something so large is able to pick up something so small and delicate and sense it through smell and touch. What else is she eating there? I was trying to see on the ground. Very good question. Until you've watched elephants for a long time, you say, what could possibly break an elephant's tusk? They use their tusks a lot, Paula, uh, to scrape bark normally off trees and to dig a little bit in the sand. And the reason that you haven't seen that while we've been here in the Mara, and if you look at her right tusk, you can see it's very dirty. It's got a lot of dirt on it. And that is because she's been using it to dig and to f fish out roots and break off bark. And the reason we don't see that here is that these elephants spend a lot of time in the woodlands fringing the Great Mara River and fringing some of the, uh, what should we call them, the, the gullies, if you like, on the slopes of the Olololo Escarpment. And because there are no roads in those areas, we don't see them feeding on anything other than grass really here. And so we don't see them using their tusks. And that's why it's not obvious to you as to how she could possibly have broken that tusk. Are we getting into pole re realm here, Craig? Shall I try and shifty a little? I'm going to try and shifty a little. I don't want to give her a fright, though, because 
but let's face it, this vehicle is not quiet. It also will belch an enormous cumulonimbus cloud of diesel into the air as soon as I start it. Sorry, my dear, I do apologize. See how they've all gathered in the defensive position around her. She's definitely the matriarch of this crew, and I also think she's pregnant. So she's a... Uh, she might be a bit weathered, but she certainly ain't finished her contribution to elephant society just yet. And I'm watching her belly there, the side of her belly. I thought I saw some movement. And I wonder if the baby isn't giving a little bit of a kick now and again. What a wonderful herd of elephants this is. And the back one there is missing half its trunk. You see that? Sorry, Craig, I know that we're now putting you right in pole range, but I can't really move. Now, the back one there is missing half the trunk. It could have been crocodiles, it could have been s snares from people if she's wandered into an area where there are people trying to hunt food. She's given the order to move off, and so the youngsters and the cows are going, but some of the young bulls are being a little disobedient, they're hanging around still. I actually think that's the young cow. I'm not sure about the very little one young to tell. Bye-bye. It's been real.